have any question about my father or anything, or, or I can take it. So, can you, if there's any questions, or what we can do for you? Hmm. He's going to answer the questions. Anybody have questions? Oh, I got a question. Uh, Muhammad, your father, when he came to Elijah, he came from Saudi Arabia, correct? Uh, I think let what, me... Uh, yes, where your father come let from? Me take, you? Let me take the timeline, correct? My father left Pakistan in 1928. And he went directly via Sydney to Fiji Islands. That's right. So, timeline does not work. <laughs> so, he was not here. Oh, yeah. So, when this became a controversy uh, in your father's time, right. and according to some people, he said, because my father was a very quiet man, and he jokingly said, I am the Fad Muhammad of, of W.D. Muhammad. And so he didn't even mention it, but Fad Muhammad of maybe you made. So it is metaphorically Fad Muhammad, because timeline does not say that. Because I was also asked by somebody else outside this community, uh, even uh, uh, Sheikh Hamza asked me this question also. So he says it, it, it does not work out. But Fad Muhammad, I don't know who it was, either he was a... I would say at that time there was a lot of Albanian people living here. And Maulana Muhammad Ali's literature was the, the only light available to the world. And I think it, it is, still is. Uh, people don't admit, but looking at the website, how many hits we get. Uh, uh, from the, uh, the the Holy Quran itself, you know how many people could get out of that. Especially as uh, the Maulana Muhammadiyya's translation is such that it makes it so easier. You know, he makes all the Quran ayahs together to make for you to make decision. Mm -hmm. So somebody, I think, uh, from that area, because we have been publishing Qurans since 1914 or 1918, I think the first publication. Yeah, 70. So somebody from the east, I would say that somebody from maybe the Albanian, because he do, does look like, you know, European, you know, must have come to the prison and gave the Holy Quran to your father. But the mission was, it was God's work that the work of Islam has to, you know, go to the west. And somebody from there has to bring the light of Islam in the West. Yes, right. And so, metaphorically, I would say that for Muhammad is my father would be, I would say, but uh, I would not make it, you know, official. Right. My father never said that. He never, he did never, he never say, said that. Say that. So, any other question? Would you would you give the the date that you, when you said your father? Uh, Nineteen forty-eight. I don't know. It was and where did he go? In fact, Fiji. In fact, Fiji. There was a job opening. Uh, they were Muslim population. They needed some teachers, so they sent the letter to Maulana Muhammad Ali, the the the, 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 the committee, and. Uh, they sent the letter to Islamia College. And they say the, how much influence Maulana Muhammad Ali and Lahore Amdi Arjuman had among the Islamic uh, world, that the, that the well-established people in Pakistan, which was India, came, came to Maulana Muhammad Ali for advice on religion, on Islam, on how to propagate and things like that. Not propagation, actually we were the ones who were doing it. So they gave that letter to Maulana, to the Maulana Muhammad Ali. So Maulana Muhammad Ali asked for volunteers. In 28, who would leave a secured place? Father had a job in Patamali outside Lahore. He had a first job, he was young. But father 
after deciding he took it then Maulana Muhammad Ali suggested that it's better for you to get married and then you go so I don't know how was the connection between Dr. Sai's family and my mother according to tradition or which I have found out and it took me a long long time to, to get the root of my father's connection uh, my mother's connection and Pakistan because we had no connection for a long long time so when I was staying in uh, Aftabad for a while my home. yeah his home hometown was his hometown right. <laughs> so his, uh, his dad said well I can't give you the connection there must be some so he suggested this person that person that person and it was God will that I went to some place where the elder was still alive and he said yes I have the connection because my mom was often she was often she, she was often so there was no connection so the elder told me yes you have some family here in Rawalpindi and I'll take you and, and then 1981 I got the connection from my mom and uh, from there we have now family in even San Francisco the family is here so we have some connection so anyway uh, when they went to Fiji there was nothing just a school with no windows even <laughs> like a hut and uh, people, Muslims were again very, very poor. It was mostly Hindu. Fiji is 15% Muslim and the rest is Hindu. So father used to say, give the farmers, because they needed children to work in the field. So they would, you would pay, give the money to them, for them to go to school. You know, so that, you know, so that Pay them so that they, they can come. Yeah. Oh, pay, 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 pay the students to pay the students to come. Taught, no? So finally, the world no got way. around, <laughs> think about and it. the institution <laughs> started building up, and he built one school. <laughs> and the thanks to the World War Two, the the American troops came and left lot of wood. <laughs> so that one small school became a boarding school and a big school. And after 19, up to 80, father also had a big connection with Elijah Muhammad Honorable by, by, by letters. So around mid-50s he came here to establish a mission in San Francisco where Minto was Imam. So he came here in 1957, established a mission. Then after that he went back and wanted to make a university of, or a college level from high school. The committee did not go along. So father said, my mission, Allah is calling me to go, go full time to, to be the part of the light of Islam in the West. And when he came here in 1961, immediately he took hijrat, came to to uh, Philadelphia. See, 61, I think, is the year. 61. 61, 61 I think, is when. 61 is when your dad was out of the nation. Right. So he told him to keep connected with him, you know, don't. And he started teaching him for two years, I think, or three years, I think. He was three years, one to one. And made him a perfect leader in a leadership position. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, of course, kept corresponding to him by phone and by letters. My father was good in writing letters. Right. <laughs> he was a good journalist. <laughs> no. So in that way, you know, he kept in touch. And then he, he was uh, no nurturing him to, of course, he died and the leadership was created. Assalamu alaikum. I, I have a question myself. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. I'm a, a man in history, I guess. Yeah. Uh, my